in today video we are going to work on two things the first one is date picker and the second one is time picker let's start with the date picker we will use date picker when I, when we want user to input some dates and the time picker to input some time so let's start with the date picker output here in the layout and let's define a unique id for this I'm going to name it date picker. So here we are done with the date picker thing. Now I'm going to initialize it here to get its value. We can get the maximum date like 2099 or minimum date is I guess 1900. Some also get the current month, current year, and first day of week, day, which day is today. So let's use some of the functions with toast. I'm going to use the I'm going to get the day what day is today and for that I'm going to initialize day if today date and which is actually May 11 here's the output see we can change the year from here I guess 2019 2100 the minimum is I guess 1900 or something yeah 1900 we can also change the month from here let me change so you can see the purpose of date picker now i'm going to use the time picker let's start with the time picker i'm going to add match parent and also all set the width to the match parent now i'm going to add unique id for this time picker you can see the layout here the beautiful clock let me update this time picker time picker and then okay keep it so now the see the function which are available to us we can use 24 12 hour view current hour current minute validate input these all of the functions available to us let's use the get hour function it's 20 o'clock 20 o'clock means it's in 24 hour now see from here we can change the time am pm Set time. You can go to the this view. 